what we've got here is fish, bird, fish bone and turtle. Turtle we are getting in abundance and have done in previous years uh, but the surprising thing this year is that we're getting out lots and lots of bird bone, uh, more so than we've ever ever had before. Um, you can tell they're bird bone because they're very very hollow inside, uh, look a bit like a drinking straw and very light because obviously they had to um, stay up in the air. We have been thinking about a theory of why we've suddenly got this big influx of bird bone in, in the trenches and um, we're thinking it might have something to do with seasonal migration, bird migration, in that um, Native Americans would, would track them, know that they were coming and wait in a certain area, occupy a certain area, catch them with nets in that they were coming and wait in area. Uh, wait for them to come in, perhaps land on the sound, in order to feast or to eat during hard times, perhaps during the winter when other food sources weren't that available. Um, as I mentioned before, the turtle is also um, seems to be quite a popular food source. You can tell the turtle bone by this beautiful pattern that is etched on the top of the, um, the bone surface. And we're generally seeing species that are around on the island today, sort of loggerhead and snapping turtle, which we would have expected. We have, as mentioned, fish bone. These are fish vertebrae. And if I get you a, another example, you can see the variation in the size of fish that they were catching, meaning that um, they were really, really using all the resources that the sound and the island had to offer.